absolutely serious. I mean, it was swelling up. I could hardly walk. Um, grinding of uh, metal against bone. My leg went one way and my knee went the other way, so it was a very painful injury. <laughs> Typically a patient will present with swelling and with, with pain on one side of the joint or the other, and the most common reason that we see is, is due to either damage to the joint surface or damage to the, the meniscal shock absorber. So the main things that go wrong with uh, the articulation is that things wear out. So in terms, so for the middle-aged to elderly patients who were dealing with types of arthritis, what tends to happen is one or both of the meniscus or the shock absorbing cartilages are damaged. The reason for that is that the medial meniscus is spot welded all the way around and doesn't tend to move, it tends to stay still. And if you imagine you're constantly cycling your knee, you're constantly doing this, and from about the age of 30 onwards, these tend to become slightly crispier, the water content drops slightly, and they become prone to tearing. And it can be something as simple as just stumbling or picking something up that can cause it to split. And once you've lost that, you can see from the model that you've got a round on flat surface, and that actually that's not very good for stability, but also for wear. So then what happens, you get what we call point loading, and the joint surface cartilage, or this articular smooth cartilage, which is friction free or low friction, starts to wear thin and damage. And that essentially is osteoarthritis or wear and tear arthritis. I mean, the other cause of knee pain that we see is sometimes associated with instability. I'm sure you've already heard from the classic history of I was running, I changed direction, my knee gave way, it suddenly swelled, I heard a pop, um, and I couldn't get up. And I was then carried off, unable to play on. and that person's ruptured their ACL, you don't even need to examine them. And, and every time that knee gives way, that will be associated with severe pain. If people get wear behind the kneecap, the kneecap and the end of the thigh bone here, the femur, take about three times your body weight when you walk and when you run, it's about seven or eight times your body weight. So the thick cartilage behind the kneecap, not surprisingly, can wear out even in youngsters. And that, that is a common source of pain.